Hey, have you been getting sound sleep lately? Well, I hope you enjoyed it because not anymore. It's been a minute since we had some good nightmare fuel on this channel, so I obliged. And make sure you watch till the end for your chance at a free Tesla. Actually, you won't win a free Tesla and you won't even get your time back. You'll just leave with the nightmares. All right, enjoy. I had a viewer recommend, hey, Leon, look up the Black Alien Project. This dude just cut off two of his fingers on purpose as part of his uh, aesthetic. aesthetic. It is fucking weird, dude. Like, it's one of those situations where I'm just like, hey, what's up? New freak just dropped. <laughs> All right. And I don't care, man. Someone wants to, like, it's your life. It's your life. You can do what you want. This is some wild ass shit. So this guy, this guy, PK Chronicles, does a pretty good job of kind of document what's going on so we can kind of see the transition. And then more recently is the the reason I got the comment is because the dude, I kind of spoiled it for you already, but he cut his own fingers off. But you willing to go to achieve the look you've always wanted? Well, in the case of Anthony Lefredo, there seems to be no limits. Body modifications have been around since the Zero beginning limits. of time. And For every Anthony. one of us have modified our bodies in one way or another. However, today we're going to look at a man whose sole goal in life is to transform himself to look like an alien. This is the story of the Black Alien Project. From an early age, Anthony was fascinated with mutations and transforming the human body. He would even say his passion for... Alright, so right out of the gates, a good... Uh comparison photo like good before and after looks a little different than he did several years ago bodybuilding had a lot to do with that because let's be real body dysmorphia is very much alive and haunts a lot of people that's fact you know that thing where you look good but for some reason you don't think you do and you want more anyways it all clicked one day when he was working as a security guard uh i want to make a comment on that before we get too far into this Briefly, and I think this this comment this type of thing this comment could go a lot deeper. But body dysmorphia shows up in so many different ways, right? And it's it's a truly a, it's a it's a mental mind fuck. In it's uh, on several different levels, it affects some people so much worse than others. But when you talk about like eating disorders like anorexia, bulimia, all of these things kind of come back to like body dysmorphia, where you look at yourself and you you see something totally different than what is rational and makes sense. And I don't think it's any different than when you're talking about these guys that inject synthol oil, like these fucking Middle Eastern dudes that have like the 68 inch biceps and the traps. I'm sure you guys have seen those memes. Same thing for dudes that are like doing three grams a test a week that are like 300 fucking pounds of pure muscle. Like, and all of this like surgery going to give you the smallest waist and the hugest ass. Body dysmorphia shows itself in so many different ways. And I kind of put them all into the same general category. And I feel like this dude is no different. It's all the same thing. Like you just, your brain, it sees things differently in a way that it's never enough. Whatever you're going for, whatever you're trying to achieve, there's this kind of end goal that never, you can never reach. The goalpost keeps getting pushed and you end up going down a path that you realize makes you look like, like this, dude. And it's like, to. so he decided to stop <laughs> everything at the what age of 24 fuck? years old quit his job, pack his bags, and leave for Australia. It's still unclear what happened during his time there that triggered him to making his next move. He got abducted by aliens, I think, is probably what happened. And this is coming from someone like, I like body mods. I got the gauges. I have obviously a bunch of tattoos. I'm a huge proponent of moderation in all things, though, so I would never take it to the extreme. I mean, most people don't. Um, it certainly makes for an interesting watch, as though. As soon as he traveled back to Europe, his project went into full gear. Anthony blacked out the majority of his body in ink. Now, these days, having a full bodysuit is starting to become more Everything common. Everything in acceptable. moderation, including Except moderation. I like it. He took it a step further and blacked out his face and head as well. Even still, if you don't like, I like your the tattoos, beret, there you, you go. can always get a laser removal. I like that he but cut his nose kidding? off. He's That's pretty Black impressive. Project. Dude actually cut his nose off and is taking chunks out of his lip, it looks like. And I don't know what the fuck's going on with his skull, but, uh, Wow. His goal is to push all boundaries. So how do you think he did that? Isn't it obvious? By doing permanent procedures that are irreversible. He ended up tattooing his eyeballs black and split his tongue and tattooed it green. Woo. Now this is where things really take a turn and you realize he just went from being very serious to full on insanity. Because oh. he then proceeded to surgically remove his ears. Yeah, who needs ears though, right? I mean, come on. For being honest, ears, you don't need them to hear. Right, they're just flapping in the breeze, getting in the way every time you're trying to do some shit. Like, fucking getting ear cheese when I'm wearing headphones. 
all you need is the canal. Like, get rid of the fucking ears. The only the only thing that happens if you keep your ears is you get old as shit. They get hairy and huge. Nobody wants to be an old man with fucking huge ears, dude. Get rid of those fucking things. Black Alien's fucking 10 steps ahead. We're playing checkers. He's playing chess. It's very obvious. Makes sense, right? I mean, aliens don't have ears. He also got dermal implants in his head, cheeks, and eyebrows. There you go. If you thought that was it's a actually tumor, a tumor, again, you have cancer. I'm sorry. The beginning. <laughs> Black Alien admits his obsession has taken over his life. Oh, you don't say. His flesh as being un I thought it was just like a little hobby that was he did on the weekends. I couldn't tell that this was something that was... <laughs> In his thoughts very often. I just would have never guessed that. Their construction. His most extreme modification couldn't even be done in his country because it was illegal. <laughs> I gotta give you credit. Dan Kells has no Raycons for him, I guess. <laughs> You're done fucked up, Black Alien. You can't wear earbuds comfortably anymore. How are you gonna work out? <laughs> this video is brought to you by Raycon. I'm kidding. Great comment, though. Legal. Thank you for that. Instead, he had to travel to Spain to have his nose removed. That's right, his nose. I know people go to surgeons all the time to get nose surgery. Looks good. But this? Anyways, as if removing a part of his nose wasn't enough, he also removed his top lip. Yeah, now, yeah. you're probably thinking to you? yourself, how is this you? guy doing any of this stuff, knowing how dangerous these procedures are? Listen, ain't no, you can find people to do whatever you want, no matter how fucked up it is. There's people that will do voluntary amputations, which we'll see later when he nicks the fingers, which is like a whole different disease. People that like actually want, like, I don't know the name of it specifically, but there are people that want to willingly become amputees or handicapped. It's very fucking strange. Again, it's a, I would say a, a disease um, that people deal with. But no matter what you want to do, there are always corners of the earth in dark alleys where you can get them done. You just have to look hard enough. Surely there are some repercussions, right? Well, Black Alien said that ever since he removed the top of his lip, he has had trouble speaking. <laughs> ah! All right, all right. That was in the... Ah! The fuck? You chill the fuck out, dude. I'm trying to get some sleep tonight. That's... Side effect from the lip removal. This was just what he does for fun at night. He says he loves getting into the shoes of a scary character. He often settles down somewhere and plays a role. But anyways, his speaking... <laughs> he often settles down somewhere and plays a role and he's just like swinging in a playground at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Imagine you're like walking home from the bar and you just look over this dude just kind of like on a swing and there's like some weird like creepy music playing in the background and he just goes... <laughs> I would fucking absolutely A, shit my pants. I'd pull the shit out of my pants. I'd throw it at him and I would sprint directly in the other direction. And maybe that's what he's going for. Troubles don't seem to affect him or make him want to stop his project. In fact, despite all of that, he says he's proud of his look and his philosophy is everyone has their own freedom. You would think the black alien would be the first person to be, like be it. Oh, sorry guys. My bad. I was just, this was curious despite to me. all of that, he says he's proud of his look and his philosophy is everyone has their own freedom. Mine is to have no limits in the mutation of my body. Take it is weird at this level of extremism. You'd think he'd be like anti-mask, right? You don't want to cover that beautiful missing lip and the cut off nose. Seems a bit counterintuitive to be covering that beauty up with a mask. Bro. One glance at him, you might assume he's achieved the look he's always wanted. But that's simply false. Because according to him, he's only 27% complete. Black Alien documents his what? entire journey it's a very, on Instagram. It's a very specific number. 47,000 fans updated with his progress. Does he really? Can we? Let's just take a quick sidebar here. So that, that video is a little bit older. This is going to be, oh yeah. Yeah. We're going to come back to this in a second because holy fuck. Oh, he's up to a million followers now. Hey, you know what? Good for him. If it takes, you know, some people... <laughs> Making a fucking living online doesn't come easy. You got to hustle and cut off your fingers and take a lot parts of your fucking face off. But you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. And for the Black Alien Project, he has the will and he's finding the way. I don't know. Like, maybe he's going to be the next guy on the cover of, like, Time Magazine or he's going to be in, like, a, a Balenciaga fucking spring catalog. You know what I mean? Like, freaks like this, they're all, they always get picked up for something, you know? Because they're just too peculiar to not look at, you know? And I mean that, I don't know how I mean that. I mean that exactly how I said it, I guess. Recently, he modified himself some more, posting about it on June 12, 2021. 
a picture of him which had a chunk of his bottom lip removed oh, he's and a caption that said we continue we advance body evolution open mouth we I continue. think it's very safe to assume what he's going to do with his lips moving forward dude if he gets rid of the whole ass lips and he's just fucking ah! he's fucking that would be sick that would be that's true fucking commitment However, Who needs the lips? most shocking project he has lined up in 2020 oh, yeah. is the removal of half of his hand. Here's a th so uh, this so this video is from last year in June, and then uh, I'm all for body yeah, modifications and people living life how they it. want to. But at what point are you gonna draw the line and say enough is enough? This is Don't. pretty much like handicapping yourself, isn't it? I mean, there are people in the right, let's be honest. He was handicapping himself long before he took his fingers off. Okay, <laughs> come on, come on. Stop fucking skirting around the bush right now. That are missing limbs and would give anything to have a full capable body. This one's just pure disrespect. Anyways, adding to his future plan, <laughs> he also wants to modify his arms, pure legs, disrespect. and the back of his head in some sort of way. And the absolute cherry on top is wanting to remove his skin and replace it with metal. Oh, there you go. That's the end game. Just get rid of all the skin and replace it with metal. That's like complete cyborg status. I like that. It's like bringing, uh, I mean, probably we're going to be able to do that not far into the future. So he's he's in a good millennium to be able to execute that at a high level. I don't level. even know if that's possible. And if it is, oh, sure who would is. even have the knowledge and experience to pull off an operation like that? Pickle Rick, we bitch. suddenly have the technology to become cyborgs now or something? Really, what's going on? somewhere and live his life or gonna look like yeah like so this. anyway so that's that's the intro right so now let's take a look at my dude so we're over on his instagram now it's a a, a milli followers he has now gotten rid of two of his fingers it just never ends so now he's tattooed his teeth like that's the thing with this disease where it's like there's it's just never like there's never a finish line so the second something is done it has to be the next thing Right. And this happens with everything for people, for women who have like, you know, the implants that go out to here for women who have the ass injections that never stop. There's like this part of your brain that fucking breaks and there's just uh, no contentment. There's no contentment. There's a lack of being content with who you are. And it's set, like to me. And I, I mean this in like an empathetic way. Right. Like I look at people like this and I feel sadness. I feel empathy. Because your life can't, like, you have to just, you just are living in this constant state of unfulfillment and displeasure and not feeling comfortable in your own skin. And you have to go through a lifetime of doing this shit to try to feel something. And the second you do this new thing, you feel it for like a minute and then you're on to the next thing and it never fucking stops. It's a snowball and you're just miserable until you eventually fucking kill yourself, probably. I don't fucking know. Like, but man, that must absolutely fucking blow. Currently watching with one eye closed. I don't... Oh, dude, what the fuck is happening? <sighs> but does he look happy? I mean, I don't uh, who know who knows. No, I can't imagine. We can pretend like, oh, yeah, he's hey, Leon, but he's doing what makes him happy. I'm like, no, this dude's not happy, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I'm not either. So I'm not one to talk. Nobody really is. I take that back. I'm. On like a macro scale, yeah, I'm happy. I'm just being like self-deprecating. All right, so here he is with his three fingers. <laughs> he's getting real emo with it. Dude. <laughs> he's like, he's. this is him really just showing off the fact. Like, so you have to think of it like this. He's literally like proud of the fact that he amputated two of his fingers and in making Instagram posts of himself showing off his hand as much as he can because he gets joy he gets he feels something when people comment about the fact that he amputated his two fingers that's like a whole nother level of mental illness or like disease or sickness and the fucked up thing like the fucked up and cool thing about social media and the internet is we get to watch this shit in real time right like we never like years ago when i was growing up like this would be like a random first of all i never saw this shit when i was a kid I think like shit like this is almost partly perpetuated by social media, quite frankly, and the attention that it garners. There's a lot to that. That's a whole nother conversation. But like, th this is a fucking, this is like a, just in real time watching a dude absolutely off the fucking handle. And it's entertainment, right? 
at the end of the day, that's what we do. Like, we're on this stream right now watching this, and I'm entertained in a sick fucking way. Like, you're entertained in a sick fucking way, and, I, and that's just kind of where we're at. And it's only going to continue to perpetuate. I mean, this happens all the time, whether it's drama, it's people killing themselves, it's celebrity drama, it's fucking like where there is just so much like <laughs> pain and suffering that is spun into people's entertainment. And it's such a weird crossroads I arrive at oftentimes, like emotionally, where I'm like, do I really want to be talking about this thing? And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> This is the, this is the world we live in. There's just we live in a world of fucked up, crazy shit, and everything is available to us in real time now through the power of the internet and cell phones. There's just a live feed of everyone's life at all times being projected onto the internet that we can consume every single hour of the day. It's having its toll on us humans. We haven't really understood really the fallout or what it means going forward. Here, 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 let's read this comment because people are not happy about this, first of all, which I don't blame them, quite frankly. Guys, this man shouldn't be given the chance to gain popularity and satisfaction from all the attention here in the social media. That madness shouldn't be spread and supported. It's extremely disturbing and no youngster or child should ever see this monster's choices and transformation. It does not matter if these modifications were legally made. No sick mind should be supported and given attention to. Instagram is not a platform for him. Please report his account. Sarah Demet is not fucking happy with the Black Alien Project. Look at her. Hard work pays off. Well, you said it right in your profile, Sarah. What the fuck do you think this is? The man's lopping his goddamn fingers off for fucking social media clout and to feed the sickness. You don't think that's hard work? Get with the program, sister. It's 2022. Okay? You would dream to have this kind of commitment that the Black Alien Project has right now. I mean, look at him. <laughs> <laughs>